Okay, so now we're gonna make some food. Um, we're gonna do sashimi with the yellowtail, all the sangoras, uh, all the boni boni, also very nice um, sashimi. And then we're also gonna do fish and chips on a Swedish fire torch. So I'm gonna show you what a Swedish fire torch look like. It's a log of wood with um, it's cut like a pizza. So uh, there you can see it's uh, so you stuff all your stuff in there and you light it and then you we're gonna put a pan on that. And we're gonna make fish and chips on that. So stay, um, keep watching if you wanna see what we do and how we make it. Steve is actually a restauranteur. So he's gonna do, we're gonna do ceviche or yeah. sashimi. And then we're gonna do um, some nice fish and chips. Okay. Okay, okay guys, so we're busy with some food here at the moment. Um, Steve, what, what, what are we gonna make? Yeah, just prepping all these things that can go into this uh, ceviche so we can use a lemon juice that we've already started prepping here just to get okay. that um, raw uh, bonnie cooked and then um, just some peppers and some fresh coriander just to add some color and flavor yeah okay <laughs> um, okay and i'm busy peeling the potatoes for the chips for later this afternoon so we're gonna have a snack ceviche with a bonito and then we're gonna have the um, Sangras, what's it called? Yeah, it's fish. Sang <laughs> the Sangoma fish. We're gonna have even, even Sangoma fish. Um, we're gonna do in the pot. Fish and chips uh, on a Swedish fire torch. We're gonna show you the Swedish fire torch. It's a very cool concept. And then we're gonna do fish and chips on uh, that for this evening. So yeah, we're just busy with all the prep work. So what's the next step now, Steph? Yeah, it's actually easy. I'm just going to fill it that bonnie, cut it into low reams, and then, uh, then we're good to go. That's what's so lovely about you it. Cut it's it so cubes? Easy. Cubes? Or yeah, how do you yeah cut it? cubes will be lacquer, so you can just grab it and put it in your mouth, you okay. know? Okay, so Steph, what's happening at the moment? Well, let me just uh, parboiling these uh, potato chippies a bit, yeah? Get them easy for the oil, so cook for a bit less, you know, make it a bit easier on us. Okay, yeah. so we've got that going there. There's some more potato chips here, and here we've got Steph. Uh, just for the ceviche? Yeah, for the shindingu. For shindingu? The, oh, the, sorry, it's like a chili sauce for the uh, ceviche, yeah. Okay, so we've got shindingu. coriander, and shindingu. pepper, and lemon juice. Yeah, keep it easy. Okay, so uh, yeah, we for are... Next, we're going to fillet the fish. That's our next step, we're going to fillet the bonito. Okay, so Steph is explaining, we put it in uh, hot water, boiling water, uh, to what it? Ah, oh, just 10 minutes, just to firm the body up, so we don't have to use so much oil when we're cooking it. We can just, okay, uh, and then we're gonna, just blanching it. And then we're going to dump it in cold water on this side, mm. so that it keeps the body, so that it doesn't oh. go mushy. Oh. Okay, next lady for a shave. Okay, so now we are here and we are filleting the bonito. Okay, so the bonito is actually family of the tuna. Ooh, we didn't bleed this one. I get. Ah, oh, he did bleed it. Uh, oh, when I caught it. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, obviously I'm the wrong side here. Yeah, yeah. We'll be driving our state, yeah Look around for the next crowd, yeah Going our own way Trying to find a new route, yeah We'll be going in circles Trying to find a way, so 
searching for The things we do, yeah Drop top without a choice, yeah Hair blown round to the window Singing stupid noise, so ooh. I just wanna get to know ya I wanna go far to the coast, yeah I wanna drive fast to the ocean I wanna know all of you Growing old like a ghost, yeah I wanna have kids of my own, yeah Living life till it's over But until we do It's sleeping soon I'm feeling a little crazy Set at home being lazy Wanna travel to the mighty Flying with you Wanna take on the world and do something Would you by my side like it's nothing? Wanna buy you things that you wanted Wanna find you I believe the last fillet This is busy with the last fillet um, Then we're quickly gonna dispose of these we, Luckily we're just across the ocean So uh, what we don't eat goes back to the ocean Even will love that Okay, so yeah, that's the next step. We took the skin off. Beautiful. Well done, Steph. Yeah. Right. And, the uh, fish, it gets yeah. Easy. and then we cut it into portions so that we can put it in a fryer yeah. or in, in a pan to fry them. Okay, so we'll talk about that later. But yeah, a lot of prepping going on at the moment for, for this feast that we're preparing for Evan's birthday. So if you haven't liked the video, like the video because it's Evan's birthday. And please wish him a happy birthday in the comment section. Okay, so last we left you at uh, at the fillets, okay, and you know that's a coriander, that is the red peppers, that's bonito fillet, and then we had, how many lime juice in here? Lime juice were in here. Like five lemon juices. Five or six uh, lemon juices. Yeah. And now you've put soy sauce in. Soy, soy heavily doubt salt and pepper. Okay. You can never have enough. Yeah, that's a normal soy sauce and mm. salt and pepper. Yeah. And how long in the. And did you close it with. A I, 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 you know what? We're going to eat this so quickly. I don't see why wasting all that cling wrap and extra time because we're going to eat this now. So okay, pop it so in the fridge, get it nice and cold, have it marinate and then pop it out. Okay, so basically what happens uh, lemon juice uh, cures it. So that's a chemical reaction that happens and so that meat is cooked, it's not raw. Um, yeah, so yeah. even a little bit more. Or is more lemon. Okay, so we're gonna go around and taste it quickly. Steph, you wanna go first? Yeah. My pretension is Also goes well if you like warmer food is a little bit of chili. Mm. And it's a verdict. It's soft. It's like it's like eating cooked meat. It's like it's just amazing. Bonnies, I love bonnies. Okay, so let's go around. Let's go uh, the birthday boy. Okay, birthday boy, taste. Birthday boy, taste. Ooh, that looks dodgy. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> what not to say? What am I tasting? Bonita. And what is, what's it called, Steph? Nice. Oh, what's it nice. called, Steph? Um, ceviche. Ceviche. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Well, oh. Well, well, well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't put too much coriander in. I don't know if you guys' tolerance for coriander is. Mm. Mm. Very nice. Mm. Okay, so that's the one dish done. Now we, now we are going to do, or well, later on, we're going to do the um, Swedish Fire Torch fish and chips, deep fried fish and chips. So we've got the oil going over here with a Swedish fire at the bottom and um, we're gonna put these chippies that uh, Steph already blanched that was the part when he uh, steamed it or boiled it in the, then into cold water so yeah that's what's going on with the chip okay so now we've got the potatoes going in here for our slap chips for our fish and chips and uh, as you can see that Swedish fire torch keeps on burning and eating that cast iron pot
Look at that lovely chip. Okay, so new batch in. And um, yeah, there's your chip piece ready to go. Okay, so the plan is actually for fish and chips, but the chips are so nice. <laughs> we keep on eating the chips. Okay, so there's the finished fish. Just uh, butter and garlic in a pan with salt and pepper. Oh, and it's looking very nice. Hey! And there you have it. Fish and chips on a Swedish fire torch. So that's the end of another day and it's trace by and I'm gonna leave you with a sunset like that and we're doing some nice fish and chips and yeah so Evie's birthday is done and tomorrow's another day so we're gonna end this episode here remember about the Romans competition so we're gonna end the episode here and uh, then we're going to start the next episode where we are back on board spearfishing for another day. Okay, so there's a lot of spears arrived from Cape Town and the guys are all yet for tail. Tomorrow is supposed to be the best day. And it is actually looking pretty good out there. The swell has definitely dropped and there is a deep blue line there at the back. So, yeah, we're going to eat up and get everything ready for tomorrow. And a lot of lessons learned today. Um, but yeah, we are out to see you tomorrow morning.